Hello, you guys. Um, so I wanted to do, make sure the camera's a good angle there for you. I wanted to do this review of the, um, <clears throat> or how should I say it? Why the Zack Snyder's Justice League is the best superhero movie to date. Um, where should I begin? I, I don't have infinite time, so I'm just gonna try to break it down. Um, first, we have to start with my statement. I said it's the best, right? So there's many, obviously, other superhero movies. Um, there's all the Marvel movies, Thor, Avengers. Um, and so I will say that previously, I had probably tied maybe the Dark Knight, um, series with some of the Marvel series. So before I even get to talking about Avengers, and I know this is supposed to be about Justice League, I'm gonna say that my favorite movies were probably Dark Knight and um, the Iron Man <coughs> movies, especially when they first came out, and then also um, the Thor movies. Um, so um, those, those were my favorite movies up until this one. And uh, so I think I might have seen the original two hour version, but it didn't really stick in my head. I also liked Man of Steel. I also liked, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Batman versus Superman. Um, I thought those were, those were both cool. So anyway, um, other things to get into why I think this one, I, I haven't even really talked about why this one. I loved how long it was. Uh, the length was beautiful. I love sitting there for a four-hour movie. I thought that the costumes were really well done. I thought that, you know, obviously, you look at the, the Justice League, they could defeat the Avengers. The Justice League could defeat the, the Avengers. I, I mean, I'm not... <laughs> I'm just saying, anyway, okay. And then you look at the way these things are filmed. From Man of Steel, okay, the way they really showed the power of Superman... And then you get into the really good storytelling because everyone gets into how Superman is like overpowered and everything like that. But that doesn't mean that he was dead. You know, he's dead in the beginning of the thing. He's dead for most of the thing. That doesn't get into the real things of life. Anyone can be whatever, but there's still going to be circumstances. And, and storytelling in DC uh, around Superman has always been exemplary. Um, it's always been amazing. I think everyone has come at it very thoughtfully thinking about how can we write an incompelling story about the person who is super duper strong. But even the way they film from Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman, this was be her best movie, um, definitely. I saw the new Wonder Woman, I saw the, the uh, no, no, I haven't seen the new Wonder Woman. I saw the, um, the older one. I haven't seen the new Wonder Woman, so I can't say this is her best movie, but it's better than the first one and, the, and her appearances in the other one. But she's, those were good too, but they did such a good job of creating her as a character. I will say they should have done a Flash movie. Um, they should have done a Cyborg movie, um, in my opinion. And if they're not going to, I know that they might do a Flash movie, that'd be cool. Um, I, they're gonna have to, but really the stuff that they tied in with the Flash, and there's gonna be some spoilers in this from here on out, so I can maybe talk about the movie a little bit. But um, the, the, actually there's gonna be a huge spoiler right now. If you haven't seen it, get out of here. Now let's get into uh, the fact that I wanted to say, what he does, I won't get too into it, but what he does at the end, as far as, <laughs> you can't really not get into it. But his ability, and I think, you should have seen it already because the movie is already out there, but him being able to literally run back in time. The movie's been out for two ye for like three years. <laughs> year. <laughs> no, okay, that's well, I, I apologize, but you're right back in time. I don't know what to tell you, but you knew it was gonna happen, you know. Uh, but he didn't like run, run back in time. He literally created the past in front of him. No, it's an extended cut, I believe. So the extended and, cut is new, but not the movie itself? No, but it's like twice as long. So it's basically like a mo new movie inside of a movie. Huh. Yeah, so, but um, yeah, yeah. Man, they did some amazing stuff with Flash, so, but you gotta, you guys gotta keep going there with Flash. The Speed Force stuff needs to be really expounded on. The, the DC TV show did a pretty good job of that. DC is actually, to me, the reigning champ when it comes to comic book stuff. And, you know, like, the depiction of Batman, um, of course, there's been many iterations of Batman, and this one is very interesting, but I think it fits 
um, pretty close to perfectly. And having Ben Affleck do the whole Robert Downey Jr. role of being, you know, the of caring, you know, as far as acting credibility, I think is a pretty good call. I, I, I you know, um, and so I am just saying I like everything they did, the, the expansiveness on it, onto Alfred's role in this one was really cool. Uh, what else can I say about um, why it was awesome? I loved uh, the the action sequences. The teamwork there was way better to me than anything that ever happened in the Avengers. Um, I thought the cinematography was better. It was a perfect balance of modern. Had some of the Dark Knight cine, cin, cin, cinema stuff, but even took it a little bit, uh, mellowed it slightly, and then added even you know wider, more expansive scenes in certain ways. I think they could have spent a little bit more on the in-between um, implications of being some of these people, you know, like, you know, how does Batman really, like, be thoughtful? How does he really wake up? You know what I mean? I think it's, uh, how does Cyborg maintain that edge up? I think his robot is cutting his hair for him. Include these things. Simple, thoughtful, cost money, but do it, because I want to see it. And, um, but they could have, they did such a good job I'm literally talking about taking this movie into six hours, eight hours, which it could have easily been and would have been deserved because this is the Justice League, okay, if the Avengers, which honestly, the latest executions of Avengers, amazing, don't get me wrong, but they were a little bit on the Transformers side of what it means to be an action movie, um, and Transformers was great too, but I mean, as far as, I need a little bit more detail on... The thoughtfulness of these people's mentalities, their martial arts, their capacity to do things, and I think the DC DC really did it with this sex and I think it's and then the fact that it was that you know it was on HBO Max and watching the comfortability of your own home, but it didn't lose any of its hugeness. Like it blew, it's it it, it knocked me back. Um, so I think. That Zack Snyder's Justice League, I might do, this is just part one, I'm going to do another part two of this review. Zack Snyder's Justice League movie is the best comic book, um, and especially if this gets a lot of views, then I'll do another one, and I'll explain more in depth, and I'll take into account what you guys think, but um, Zack Snyder's Justice League is the best superhero Superhero film of all time. Um, okay. Composition brought up something because afterwards he was like, I can't believe that you're a traitor. No, I'm just joking. I'm not a traitor because I was never a Marvel person. But I wanted to explain one reason I, I think there's a difference in the DC and Marvel universe. It's maybe slight to me, but I think, um, I think there's with the DC universe, it is possible to get thrown off a little bit, I think, by the like the rhythm because it's not as contiguously, you know, like, I feel like continuity-wise, Marvel kind of has a more serious establishment to kind of at times how they'll do their universe. And I think sometimes DC is a little bit weird and, and it kind of shows up in the editing. But as a DC fan, I feel like um, one reason why we don't care about that is because, you know, we're in it for these, you know, just like the beauty, like this lavish beauty of these characters, you know, like Batman and, you know, and then the Frank Miller Batmans and then Superman and, you know, the different super all-star Superman that came out and all the Superboys and then even Wonder Woman and, you know, who she is and then Flash. These characters are so beautiful, you know, and I think this movie captured these long strokes of these characters that for a DC fan, it's what you dream of. You dream of the, the, the being able to see the long, beautiful arc of Superman and then to see the startling beauty and perfect power almost of Wonder Woman. And then, you know, the, the um, you know, this was actually, I think controversially, one of the better Batmans Ever because they went with the darker Batman, but this Batman was the real Batman. That kind of showed you why, you know, he even had this line that I almost didn't like in it where he said, you, the Flash asked him, what's your superpower? And he said, I'm rich. And I was like, you know, none of the other, I mean, no, some of the earlier Batmans might have said that, but, you know, Chris, what, what's his name? Um, 
Christopher Nolan, not Christopher Nolan, what's the guy who played him? Um, Christian Bale. Christian Bale's uh, Batman would have never said that because he was a little bit almost too esoteric and almost too like Kung Fu Wizard, which is part of Batman, but I feel like the down to earthness of him being the one who. He's, he didn't die in any of the scenes. He had his tech. He had what he brought to the table, and he brought everyone to the table because he understood the 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 narrative of what it means to be, you know, this guy. Anyway, so I think, he, like you were saying, so you agree that they don't do that as much in Marvel. But, Exactly. I think they wear now that you know, but she's already like in the cinematic universe. She's already like fucking dead and shit. But you know, other than that, they don't. They kind of bits and pieces. They kind of went in there with Captain America. Like they do the little backstories glittered with within the story and bits and pieces. I think. I think, you know, they just do it in a different way. Yeah, and you know, I think where they did it really well in Marvel to me was Thor. Yeah. Thor was one of the, the the best, even better than Iron Man. Iron Man, they did, I feel like, superheroing very well as far as balancing it with it with full blockbuster capability. Um, but they still didn't all the way go there with Tony Stark. Um, but they really kind of did it with Thor... Um, except for the last one when they just did some random, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, the there's, but it's, but it, they're beautiful is, movies. Thor's yeah. character, for one, is the oldest out right. of all the Avengers, but his story on Earth is very fascinating. Yeah, through, yeah, I love that. Not just the comic book, but through, you're right, if there's anyone that, yeah, uh, all of them in Marvel that they did a good job storyline yeah. wise it would have been Thor because you see his transition you have this man who's the guy other than Spider-Man 3 which was probably the greatest single Marvel execution yeah that's interesting you said almost everyone else would disagree I almost said it to be antagonistic no, I mean, would disagree. but I really like Spider-Man 3 it made me cry so other than Black Panther and I'm that's my you know Black Panther is there's cool. so many layers to I need to rewatch Black Panther holistically there's like they that was like Marvel at its okay, but this is about <laughs> Justice League. <laughs> Justice League, the movie, why it was good, and so yeah, I think that's why it was good. Marvel does their job, and even comparing it to other DC movies, you know, I think the Dark Knight was cool, you know, very cool. I think the fact that they couldn't find a way to connect those two things, it was a little bit weird, but I think it turned out cool. Um, what else? Man of Steel. All the Supermans have been really good, to be honest. And all the Batmans have been good. Wonder Woman's good. Aquaman was good. Anyway. I'm not going to use this whole clip anyway, so goodbye. <laughs>